Hey guys, and welcome to my November Hits and Oh God Knows. I know it only feels like a week since you've last seen my previous Hits and Oh God Knows. That's because it's actually about a week ago because my October Hits and Oh God Knows were super late, but now we're back on track. It's time for a November Hits and Oh God Knows. I'm so excited. I got a bunch of amazing products to share with you. A couple of not so amazing products. Um, so yeah, that's, let's do it. So the first two products I want to share with you are my two favorite lip glosses of the moment. I know I featured Fusion Beauty here before and I wore this amazing red lipstick but then I found out about their lip glosses and these two right here are my nude obsession of the last month because I got this color right here. This is called In the Flesh and this is a classic nude color. It's skin tone, it's light, it's nude, it's glossy, it's voluptuous, it makes your lips look so... I'm wearing it as a gloss today. I love it so much. So this is my choice for when I want a nude lip but really make it nude and glossy. This option right here, this one's called Angelic. This is a little bit more pink, a little bit more warm. So I love these for whichever mood I'm in. If I'm a little bit more in the fleshy mood, I'm gonna go for in the flesh. If I'm a little bit more in the cutesy, pinky, nudie way of day, I'm gonna go for Angelic. So I really love these glosses. They have a slight tingle to them to make your lips look a little bit more plum. Not that I necessarily need a lot more plum. I love these glosses and I highly suggest you checking them out. As a base underneath the lip glosses lately, I've been obsessed with this Melted Lipstick by Too Faced right here. This is called Melted Sugar and I've been wearing this in I think two to three tutorials last month and I love it so much. It's such a beautiful nude. I'm all about the nudes lately. I know fall hit us and then winter is right around the corner, but I feel like, no. No vampy colors. I'm not in the mood for you. I want nude. I am so obsessed with Melted Sugar. I love the consistency of these. And I met the people of Too Faced a couple of months ago. And the story behind the Melted Liquid Lipsticks is amazing. I'll ask Jared, the owner of Too Faced, to do a video on it soon because he now has a YouTube channel. But the story behind the Melted Lipsticks is amazing. And it makes me love the products even more. See, I'm Melted Sugar is an amazing nude. It's not too light, it's not too warm, it's perfect for us pill beauties. And also wearing it today underneath that gloss, I dig. For foundation, and I know I just mentioned the liquid version, the fluid version in my previous hits in a god dose, but the Makeup Forever HD Ultra Foundation sticks are so mind-blowingly cool. Okay, so when you hear stick foundation, you go drag or you go pancake or you go pancakey drag. And now it's a known fact that I don't care about that because I love drag queens. I love to cake it on every now and then. And some people will say I cake it on every day, but you know what? Let, let a girl live. I'm all about that. But what makes me love these so much is that they give amazing coverage. They stay on like a dream. You only need the tiniest bit because they are so pigmented. Plus, I, I, in my opinion, I think the stick version of this foundation looks more natural on the skin than the fluid version. I feel like the fluid version kind of lays on top of the skin and doesn't really do much. Whereas the stick version, you put it on your skin, you blend it in with a beauty blender, and it just looks like perfection. I tried this for the first time when I was in Minneapolis to do my meet and greet. Ask Rick, all I could talk about to him was like, do you see my base right now? It has not broken me out. I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much. Check it out. So talking about my meet and greet in Minneapolis with Sigma, I know a lot of gurus mention Sigma and then they get a lot of hate for it because um, they say that Sigma is so sponsored, whatever. I know a couple of brands here on YouTube YouTube are a little iffy because people always think they are sponsored, but I really want you guys to know that I would never ever in my life promote something on my channel I do not stand behind. If I do not believe in the product, it's not going up on my channel. Whatever I tell you guys I love, I actually do really love. But I'm not gonna lie, in the past it's been a little bit iffy for me to use those products in tutorials because you immediately get that sponsored stamp. So I met the amazing people of Stigma back in Minneapolis and their 
team is so fucking amazing. They are so nice. They are so driven. So, so, so sweet, amazing, and gorgeous. And I love meeting people behind a brand because then they can really explain to you why they created some products and how they created them. So the Sigma team introduced me to their Aura powders. And in particular, these two colors right here. This one right here is called Pet Name, and this one is called Nymphaea. So I arrived in Minneapolis and I met the team behind Sigma, and they showed me these Aura powders, and immediately I fell in love. I mixed Nymphaea and Pet Name together, put it on the apples of my cheeks, and I loved the color so much. I even asked them to make that shade and call it Nikki. I really, really love this combination. I love Nymphaea a little bit more than Pet Name because Pet Name sometimes can be a little bit too light, too not there. And it saddens me to know that when I really, really love a product um, and it has an iffy name that people immediately think you're sponsored when I'm not. So from the bottom of my heart, I do want you to know that these blushes right here by Sigma are insane. They rock my brain and I'm not sponsored to say that anything I say on my channel comes from the heart. I'm talking about a powder, back in LA, I bought this powder right here. This is Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation in number 42. This has been such an amazing setting powder. So what I do is I apply my Nivea Men Aftershave Balm to prime. I spritz a little bit of All Nighter Makeup Spray by Urban Decay. I go in with my foundation sticks by Makeup Forever, a little bit of concealer. And then this powder comes in and I apply it, which is another favorite, the Becca Buffing Brush. We all know I got this because of Jeffrey. Jeffrey used this when we did our collab and I was so mesmerized by this brush because I've always wanted it but I always thought it would be too big for I didn't even know what to do with it and then he used it for powder and his face looked so Mm. So a week after I ordered this from Sephora and I'm in love So this brush is a hit for sure because it just buffs in powder in such an amazing quick way because it's so big So you're literally tap 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 done But back to the powder this powder right here makes your skin so smooth so perfectly perfect. For the longest time, I would only set my foundation using a loose powder, never a compact or even a powder foundation. But honey, let me tell you, once you get into the powder foundation by Kat Von D, there is no going back because your face will look flawless. And especially with the Ultra HD 6, mm, honey, mm, perfect skin. It looks like you have face tune on your face in real life. It's so good. The Makeup Forever, now let's rewind back to 2010, 29. The Makeup Forever Camouflage Palette. Um, I feel like every YouTuber used this back in the day, back in the OG days of YouTube, and especially Marlena from Makeup Geek and Makeup with Tiffany D, and so many girls use this concealer, and I always wanted it, but I could never get my hands on it. And then a couple of weeks ago when I was in LA, I saw this and I was like, oh, 28? Marlena! Pretty much I bought it because it was so big back in the day and you don't really hear a lot about it anymore nowadays, but I'm bringing it back because this concealer is so amazing. You need the tiniest bit. And I use this to spot conceal my face. I just take like a really tiny buffing brush and pick up a little bit of the concealer and buff it over any flaw or pimple or whatever and it just hides. It's just gone. It's just like, where are you? Where are you now? Justin Bieber. As you all know, when I talk about eyeliner, I quickly mentioned my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper and my NYC Black Liquid Liner. I am pleased to tell you that for once, there's a change in this routine. I always thought that the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D was unbeatable until I tried out her Ink Liner in Trooper. So there's Tattoo Liner in Trooper and Ink Liner in Trooper. And so I tried the Ink Liner and I like this more because it has a little bit of a stiffer, brush so the brush is um looks like that that's what the brush looks like so the tattoo liner and trooper it really glides and moves and you can make tiny beautiful precise little eyeliners with it but this one is a little bit more stiff so my routine nowadays when i want a perfect wing first i go in with my tattoo liner and trooper to make my wing 
then go back in and create that triangle, create your wing. So on the insides of my eye, I use ink liner to really get the precise smooth line. I connect the inside to the outside, so from ink to tattoo liner. And then I fill it all in using a new favorite, again by Sigma. This is the Line A's in Legend. This is so black, so matte. It stays on like a champ. It's insane. And again, not sponsored to say this, but when you meet the people behind the brand, you want to know why they made certain products and how they made certain products. And they told me about the Line Ace in Legend, and I'm in love. I love it so much. So these three make the perfect wing. Of course, if you can do your eyeliner perfectly with just one liquid liner, go ahead. You do you. Good job. You do you. But I found that with these three, I can create perfect lines. A quick honorable mention goes to Urban Decay's Polyester Bride eyeshadow. This eyeshadow has been doing it to me lately. It's such an amazing inner corner highlight, nose highlight, brow bone highlight. You can highlight whatever you want with this. It's so highlighty. <laughs> it's so amazing. I love this color so much. Um, so honorable mention to that. Also, Orphan Black. If you are not watching Orphan Black on Netflix, wherever you want to watch it, <laughs> we need to talk. You will never see such good acting as you'll see in Orphan Black because there's one main actress, Tatiana Mislani, and she is um, the main actress and she has clones. And now a lot of people go, oh, clones, boring. But the show is so awesome because Tatiana makes the world of a difference in acting because she she's like five characters at once and they're all their unique different person and you can never tell it's all one person it's just for the acting alone you have to watch it because it's so good but the storyline is amazing and i talk about it on my snapchat all the time it's funny it's intense it's it's all you ever wish for in the show and i love orphan black so much please check it out and if you do let me know so those were all my hits for the month of november and without any further ado let's go on to my oh god no oh god no so my very first oh god no of the month is sephora heated eyelash curler if you've been a subscriber of my channel for a couple of weeks now You'll probably have seen a video called how to curl your eyelashes the best way. And it's a video on how I heat up an eyelash curler with a blow dryer, which nowadays I do it with a lighter cause it's quicker, but that's the best way of curling your eyelashes. So after that video, I was like, okay, okay. I remember seeing a heated eyelash curler once. So I ordered this one from Sephora. It looks like this and basically don't, ever buy it because it's the worst thing ever. You can hold that damn thing on your eyelashes for 20 days and it will not lift an inch. You can heat it up until it burns your eyeballs out and it will not lift your lashes. Honestly, I take my eyelash curler, I light it up with a lighter, light the metal up, make it warm, make it hot, curl my lashes. That's about 30 seconds to curl both lashes, both eyes. That thing, Dinosaurs will be back on this earth by the time my lashes are straight. Damn girl, no! My next oh god no and my last oh god no of this month is the Beauty Blender Liquid Cleanser. I once saw an article on the internet on how you can best clean your beauty blenders because it's it, like, they're hard to clean. So in that article, it said to clean your beauty blenders with just normal bar soap. The best ones are from hotels. Just stock them up, take them back home, and you'll have the best beauty blender cleanser you could ever wish for, for free or for a couple of dollars. I've been cleaning my beauty blenders for a long time that way, and it's amazing. It gets all the foundation out, it gets all the gunk and dirt out, and it just, it makes your beauty blender feel and look like new. I was like, that can't be right, because why would they release a cleanser for it when a lot of people by now know you can use hotel bar soap. And let me tell you, this stuff doesn't get my beauty blender nearly as clean as my hotel bar soap. Save yourself the dollars. Mm -hmm. Save that for a lighter to buy to heat up your eyelash curler. And don't even bother getting this because if you use hotel bar soap or just any bar soap, please let it be clean. You never know where people have been and put their hands around the bar soap. 
just use a special one for the beauty blender only because this will not get your beauty blender as clean as hotel bar soap. And that's it guys, that were my hits and a god knows for the month of November. What were yours? Please let me know in the comment section down below. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box. I'll put everything down below or my blog, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, that all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I just want to thank you so much for watching this video again. I love you so much and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here, which I, oh, I love it. It's just so catty and wingy and smoky and I, mm, 